New comic book time, guys. Apparently, um, the book I ordered two days ago, right today, and, um, Amazon decided to do cross-promo on my own YouTube channel using Marvelous Miss Maisel. Is it Ms. Maisel or it's Mrs. Maisel? Yeah, even though I, um, I'm intrigued to watch the show, I get that, um, I said brand deal me Amazon, but I feel like you're pushing it too far. I decided to get a new book, and that is a hardcover edition that com that is going to be close to finally finishing a definitive Frank Miller Batman saga, and that is of the Dark Knight Returns complete collection, where there's like Dark Knight Master Race, which I got, which is a continuation story, but I got um collection that completes two of the main books in that saga, which is Dark Knight Returns and Dark Knight Strikes Again. This book is apparently really hard to find, but I'm excited to see it. So let me open this up. Let me just say that Frank Miller is the king of Batman. Like, you know Bob Kane, he originated the story and like all of that. I don't know why I'm using this again. It didn't really work last time, but I'm trying anyway because I'm an idiot. Frank Miller's the king of Batman. Like his stories of Batman are phenomenal. Like they're some of the best Batman works I've ever read. That and some of Scott Snyder's work like the Court of Owls saga, same with him and Greg Capullo, and Batman Hush. Those are some of my favorite Batman storylines ever. Always cut away from the body. Six and a half hours later. And that's doing nothing. I told you, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna just use hands. Ultimate sacrifice tool. Whee! A few moments later. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, here it is. This is neatly packaged. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, the book, and this is actually the uh, cover for the fourth chapter and the final chapter of Dark Knight Returns, which is like when Superman and Batman fight, which is pretty much like, because that book is entirely based on Batman vs. Superman. Breathe it in. That's fear. Yeah, this looks really cool. Oh, there's a warning on it. Warning, This keep this bag away from babies and children. Do not use cribs, beds, carriages, or play pens. The thin film may claim to nose and mouth to prevent breathing. I'm a child. Does that count? Well, I mean, I'm 16, I'm 17, so. But I'm a man child! Ha! <laughs> that did a cool flip there. Back, flip! Back, flip! Yeah! I did not intend that, but I also did. Yeah, it's in really amazing condition. Like, this looks perfect. I <laughs> <sighs> almost thought I was gonna sneeze again. Ooh! It looks in really amazing condition, like, perfect condition. Uh... <laughs> they have a mother f sticker right on here. Ooh! That actually looks really pristine. I thought someone like drew on this, but no, that's just the pencil art. I mean, I love how like Batman has like a sword, but also a machine gun in one hand. Yeah, this is the Dark Knight Saga, 512 pages. You right. Yeah. Is the binding good? Yes. Yeah, so we got the stuff from Batman Dark Knight Returns, and I'm thinking, wait, hold on. Oh, we got Captain Marvel. We got Captain Marvel in this, right? Hi, I'm Future Tom Isle, coming at you with a very special public announcement. So. The reason why Shazam is called Captain Marvel is because in his original debut in, put date here, the comics were published under the name Captain Marvel, and he had to say the word Shazam to turn into Captain Marvel. However, as soon as Marvel came out with the word and the superhero Marvel, and published him under the name Captain Marvel, there was a bunch of controversy and fighting between the two com publishing companies. And so DC Comics decided to not have any public controversy, and so label Captain Marvel under the name Shazam. They were still allowed to have Shazam under the name Captain Marvel, but they had to publish him under the word Shazam. Back to the video. And apparently Supergirl too, who in this is the daughter of Kal-El and Wonder Woman. Hold on. Yeah, we just got like a bit of uh, Superman in like his, like his major pose, like right here lifting a tank, which is pretty cool. 
I'm just uh, happy that, that um, it's in amazing condition. I'm gonna have to like clean off the sticker and get the sticker off because you know me, I hate stickers and they're a pain in the ass to get off. Um, let's see what it looks like without the dust jacket. I never do that where I take off the dust jacket. Oh man, oh that's epic. This is like the main front cover. It's Batman beating somebody up. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that scene from Invincible. It's like, I can always start over. I can always start again. Make another kid. Make another kid. Kind of looks a bit like that, like what he's doing right here. Yeah, let's, uh... Ah, shoot, I gotta put the dust cover back on to read the back. This masterpiece of modern comic storytelling brings to vivid life, a dark world, and an even darker man. Together with inker Klaus Jansen and colorist Lynn Harley, writer and artist, Frank Miller completely reinvents the legend of Batman in his saga of a near-future Gotham City gone to rot, ten years after the Dark Knight's retirement. Campus runs... Uh, not campus... <laughs> Crime runs rampant in the streets, and the man who was Batman is still tortured by the memories of his parents' murders. As civil society crumbles around and Bruce Wayne's law suppressed vigilante side finally breaks free of its self-imposed shackles. Thirty years after its debut, Batman The Dark Knight Returns remains an undisputed classic and one of the most influential stories ever told in the comic media. Collects both Batman The Dark Knight Returns issues 1 through 4, which is pretty much the only issues of Batman The Dark Knight Returns, and The Dark Knight Strikes Again issues 1 through 3 in one stunning oversized volume. It was kind of hard with like the last bit right here because the sticker was covering it up, but I could tell because like the it, it cut like half the letters, but I could tell what letters were which. Why do I still have this here? I, I don't need this anymore. This looks amazing. If you didn't know, uh, Dark uh, uh. Dark Knight Returns is and along with Death Death of Superman the, are pretty much the main stories of what Batman v Superman is because. <laughs> That's pretty much what Zack Snyder does. He tries to be as comic accurate as possible. And I gotta say, with Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, and the Snyder Cut, he was genuinely comic accurate with all with all of them. And Dark Knight Returns has, I have to say, is one of the is one of the few movies that is pretty much comic accurate. I mean, like there's some stuff that they like like abstract or like take out, but like a lot of it, even the lines that are in it, for example, we are criminals, we've always been criminals is used from this book to the movie and also i hope the next generation of waynes won't inherit an empty wine cellar honestly i'm really excited to read this whenever i read a book i always like listen to the soundtrack of like the film that like of that character or like what book that movie's supposed to be based upon i'm gonna have like a really excellent time reading this so i've already read the dark knight returns i have not read the dark knight strikes again so I'm going to do some reading on that. I'm going to read like the full storyline so that I actually get a sense of the full story instead of like just skipping ahead uh, to Dark Knight Strikes again. Because I just finished reading Dark Knight Returns, believe it or not. But um, yeah, I'm genuinely excited. So initial review, 20 out of 10. Excellent condition. The only, I would have given it like a 21. I had to knock off one point because of the sticker. But other than that, it's really amazing. So thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. I'm always with you. Oh, I forgot something. This video wasn't really about Batman or really comic books at all. So throwing this away. <laughs> I'm leaving. By the time you're watching this video, I will probably have been out of state. And I'm going to be out of state for the weekend that will be af the weekend after this video goes up and I always upload my videos like on the weekend or on a weekly basis or like once a week but I'm not going to be here so I'm probably going to have like a pre-planned video for when that for when that time comes I'm going to have it like pre-uploaded like on a schedule and I will still promote it I will still promote it like on my, on my Instagram and like share with my friends and stuff but I'm not, but I'm not going to like be there to like actually like fully, I, it's pre-planned. It's, I don't know if it's going to be like a comic review or like something. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but I'm really excited to like get this like on the way because as you know, like I generally try to like do something, like try to get it on time. 
But thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my friend Crystal Lawrence. Her channel is in the description. My friend Angel Dust. Her channel is in the description too. Please do subscribe to me if you want. I'm so close to 100 subscribers. I really want to get there. I'm at 97 right now. And I really want to reach that goal. Please also subscribe to my friend Disarray. Who channel is also going to be in the description check them out they make some really funny content some cool edits and just check them out they're funny and they're a really good friend but anyways i will see you guys in the next video bye